In this demo, we're going to create a matrix report. So first we go to our report editor and select matrix report. We can click OK on the dialog since we're changing from a tabular to a matrix report. Next we're going to give the report a title. In this case we're going to call it requirements status summary. This report is going to show the intersection of approved requirements and life cycle status of those requirements. So let's go take a closer look. We open up our requirements folder and we grab the data elements that we want. So we're going to start out with approval. We're going to put that in as a heading. And then we're going to add the life cycle status and add that as a row. So now we have a column heading of approval and a row heading of status. The intersection of those two fields we're going to total. So we grab the total requirements field. In addition, we want to also add a filter so that we can narrow the results of our report if we choose. So we're going to drag the release data element into the criteria box. And then we're going to check the box to allow the user to identify which release they want to report on when they run the report. So let's take a look. We'll click on the preview button and, and see how our report works. We'll choose our project, click on execute, and here we can see our rows, which are requirement status, our columns, our approval. One of our columns has the field none, which has a lot of data elements in it which if we'd like we can eliminate from the report by going back to the requirement approval field clicking on its properties and then eliminating none as an option in the report just that simple now we can go ahead and check on it by previewing the report again and now we we see that the field none is no longer summarized in the approval column We'd also like to add some totals to our column fields. So we're going to click on the calculation field, open up that folder and choose sum and drag that right underneath total requirements. And hopefully that will give us a sum of each one of the different approval status. We can even click on those column totals to see, in this case, which requirements had been rejected. And you can also go ahead and click on any individual requirement to see it closer. So we'll go ahead and save our report. We're going to choose the uh, folks on our team who we want to give access to this report. And now we're ready to see the final product. We can also uh, filter this report by different releases and get narrower results. And now we've successfully built a matrix report. And if we'd like, we could email that to someone or we could export it to any format such as Word, Excel, or a PDF. Thanks for tuning in.